morning. It is 8.08 a.m. Um, I sound rough because I went to bed at like 1.30. Um, so I had work from 7 a.m. to 3.30 yesterday, but I was late to work because um, alarm stuff. And so I left at 3.30 and I had to run back to my boyfriend's to pack all my stuff because I left all my stuff when I ran out the house to get to work. And then I had dinner from six to eight. And after dinner, I literally came by my apartment, dropped stuff off, put on sweatpants, and then I went to the library from like 8.30, really nine to 1 a.m. So on the agenda today is um, I'm gonna try to get a quick workout in. Um, and then I have pharmaceutics at 9 a.m. And that's it for me because I don't have lab on Mondays. I have lab on Wednesdays. So um, I'm going to hit up a coffee shop with some friends um, nearby and hopefully just knock out a bunch of stuff for the week. I'm presenting my research poster tomorrow. So I don't have my quizzes that are to, I'm scheduled for tomorrow. So I actually would take them Wednesday. But after that, I literally have an exam the next day and then an exam the next day. So I just kind of want to get on top of things before I get too overwhelmed. So let's get it. dressed up for my research presentation um i'm like packing stuff now uh, because i'm presenting on the coronavirus i'm gonna pack an extra bottle of hand sanitizer just to kind of you know break the ice um as well as some extra business cards just in case I, people have questions that i can't answer just yet i want to give them my car and see if they'll email it to me um or if they have a card on them they give me mine they give me theirs um, aside from that, that's about it. I'm going to go to pharmacotherapy for about an hour and then walk over to the research presentations. As I presented through lunch, I made it up later with some Chipotle. And then after that, I went for a nice run across campus because today was so long and stressful, and I just really wanted to clear my mind. It's 8:30. My class was supposed to begin at 8, and I'm skipping today because I have the sniffles, as well as I needed some downtime because yesterday was just very stressful, and I like just needed some mental health time. So I was literally just I went to bed at like 9.45 um, and this morning when I got up I just had a bunch of sneezing and coughing and everything and obviously with the whole COVID-19 thing going around they wanted us to um, you know if you don't feel good don't go to school and I'm not gonna risk that like I have a quiz at 11 um, it's just three of us we're making up our quiz from yesterday's research day so like I don't mind that and I feel as though you know if I do some home readings before then I'll be fine so <laughs> I'm skipping um, I just hung up my research poster in my room because I'm really happy. Um, obviously, um, as a first year student, I was just kind of like overwhelmed with everything. It was, uh, it was just like a bunch of stuff I had to do yesterday. So I wanted to hang it up today because now that it's over, I just feel <sighs> relieved. Um, probably going to do a little work from home until 11 and then make up my quiz and then come back home. So... <sighs> the first makeup quiz is pharmaceutical calculation. So these are some practice problems I screenshotted from the book and using my iPad, I just annotated them and wrote them out. Ease. 
142. I just had lunch with my papa. Um, he went to an appointment that is near kind of where I go to school. So I figured, why not? I'm done for the day. Um, I made up my quiz um, that I missed yesterday, today at 11. And because I was done at like 11.42, I was actually excused from this mandatory meeting we had. Um, she just wanted me to get information from a friend. So I figured, sure, let's go lunch. So we had lunch, you know, joked about Corona and all that stuff since my research project was on it. Um, now I'm running my Sam's Club to get gas and a few groceries because um, the grocery stores near me have been running out of stuff with this whole Corona scare. So that's about it. Um, we'll see what I get. So it's about eight. I have finished an assignment that just took me almost like two hours, but that's great, right? Um, while doing laundry and all that stuff. So um, since we are starting immunizations in sim lab, we had to actually take a APHA course um, to basically follow the law about immunizations as a pharmacist, yada, yada, yada. And so that took me a few hours because I started it over spring break and then forgot about it. And it's due like tonight. So that's great. So I finished that um, while doing laundry, of course. And then I went and grabbed food. I got poke. And now I'm going to finish this episode of MHA. I'm currently catching up on things that I missed um, since everything comes out on Sundays or something like that. So I'm finishing an episode of that. And then I'm going to start studying for my exam tomorrow um not start start like i've started uh, i'm just gonna like just hop back on it <laughs> virtual learning in case there is a campus closure. <laughs> So quick update, I fell asleep during our virtual learning sesh. I uh, woke up like with my iPad on the ground and everything, <laughs> but it's over. Um, luckily there was like, in the beginning there were a few questions that we had to do and I actually was awake for those <laughs> and then I fell asleep. Um, so uh, the class is over. We were supposed to get out technically at 12. Um, it's about 11.30. 11.35 to be exact and um so that's nice I didn't have any more questions afterwards because I looked back and I saw there was no more questions so I don't feel so bad about falling asleep but that's what happens when your desk is like less than three feet from your um couch so I'm going to go wash my face try to get rid of this acne I'm literally just gonna throw on a sweatshirt and some sweatpants and then go to organization meetings because we have elections and then take my exam and I'm gonna come back and get right back in this bed. Hi. All right, it is about uh, like four. Um, so we had an exam at one. I was on about one. 45 and then around 150 we found out that um our last class of the day is actually gonna be a line now so i went and got willies <laughs> bro this like dude there tried to like educate me on the coronavirus and was like giving these horrible and incorrect facts and statistics and stuff and i was like fam i literally just presented on that like two days ago but sure whatever <laughs> so i came back and talked to some friends while i ate and <laughs> I started studying for law and I realized I can't find my law study guide and I remembered like I did pack it but it was like in the same um pocket as my laptop and I took my laptop up multiple times today so I think someone jugged it after it fell out so that's great I'm just gonna reprint it um and do some like self-study time and then I'll do some group study time so not need to change it to some sweats <sighs>
to like 8.20 today, last exam of the week. Oh gosh, I'm so ready. So today we've got state law part two, it's our midterm, and we've got a four hour immunization training. Like we have this whole PowerPoint that goes to 282 slides. So I'm gonna go get it binded at our mail and document center because I kind of want to have it forever and not just like in a in a legit binder but I want to get it bind it to like a spiral book so that I can literally just like when I go practice and all that stuff just have it tell me if I have a question um so we got that I have a quick meeting and then I was supposed to be going to a um it's a G League game of the Hawks and I got canceled since uh corona so I might finish laundry or start my study gate for Monday because I have a pharmaceutics exam and I have an A in that class right now, but I mean, I still do study guides because like, you never know what will happen. <laughs> so let's get to it. Here is my law study guide. So I actually, like I mentioned before, I do my study guides as I go in class. And that way when it's come time to study, I literally just have to annotate it um, and watch random things and lecture videos. I didn't really have to have to watch much. I think I had only like one note in here. <laughs> yeah, I scratched it out, it said, uh, check lecture video for your description because you were busy texting. So, um, you know, when I'm done, I just literally annotate it. But I annotate while reading. So it's like, not like, oh, this is important. Let me highlight it. I legit am studying while I'm annotating it. And the colors and stuff come for later. So it's like about me understanding it right before the exam. That's where the colors come from. It's like understanding the importance of things. Um, I also did a classmate's practice quiz, which literally I made, um, like an 85 one, but the thing is I technically made a 100 because I missed stupid stuff that I know. So that was also solidified and helped me understand, like, exactly what I do and don't know. And that really, really helped after doing this. Post-law exam, I had about an hour and a half to finish some lunch and prepare for my four-hour immunization training. After that, um, I went straight over to my boyfriend's where we just ended the night with a glass of wine and some takeout. Hello, it is Saturday, meaning I forgot to finish this vlog on Friday, but that's okay because there's a lot going on um, with the whole like um, virus thing. Uh, originally, my brother was supposed to move out and now they're kind of moving out, we're not really sure. So we kind of were just like trying to figure all that out last night as well as um, I had to call out from work for Sunday because we were expecting for me to have to basically um, help my brother move out all weekend. Um, uh, so Adam and I kind of just like stayed in, had some wine and um, watched HGTV and we just chilled and slept so hard. Um, got up for breakfast this morning. And then um, he's gonna go finish some family stuff. And I have came back because I'm not really sure what's going on with my university just yet. So I kind of want to clean my place and kind of have a bag ready just in case. I don't know. So um, I'm gonna clean my place and I'll see you guys another time. <laughs> Thank you.